Question 8 reads, if 2x plus z equals 2y, and 2x plus 2y plus z equals 20, what is the value of y? This is a solve for x type problem, even though in this case we're technically solving for y. So whenever you see a problem like this where you have more variables than you do equations, here we have two equations and three variables, x, y, and z, and you're solving for the value of one of the variables, in this case y, you really want to quickly think about setting up a system of linear equations and seeing if you can cancel out some of these variables. So in order to set up our system of linear equations, let's line up the equations in a way that makes sense with all the variables on one side. So I'll start with the second equation since this already looks nice. x, y, and z lined up on one side and a number on the other side of the equal sign. So I have 2x plus 2y plus z equals 20. And now I just want to write this second equation directly underneath it in a way that will make it easy to cancel out the variables. So I'll put the 2x underneath this 2x. I'm going to move this 2y over to the other side of the equation, minus 2y. And of course the plus z is still there. And since we subtracted this 2y out from both sides, this is going to be equal to 0. Just move the 2y over. So now we have our system of linear equations set up, and you can see that the 2x's can be canceled out and the z's can be canceled out. And that's going to leave us with just y. So in order to get the x's and the z's out of the way, we're going to have to subtract these two equations. Now, whenever I'm subtracting two equations in a system of linear equations, I like to put big fat parentheses around the second one. So I remember to keep applying this minus sign as I go through. 2x minus 2x is 0, so that'll cancel out. 2y minus negative 2y is 4y. z minus z is 0, so that'll cancel out. 20 minus 0 is 20. So now we're left with 4y equals 20. So you can divide both sides by 4 and get y equals 5. So the answer is A, 5.